Do you just want to say something really funny? You know how I pretended I wasn't bothered about the lamp comment? I bought a lamp for lighting. Right, I've got Thomas in the tank engine in my head, and do you know why it is? It's because of, um, have you seen that meme where it's like all the goths and it's like that theme tune, and they're like doing like rave dance? <laughs> And I actually just think like it's so lit, like someone needs to do a remix of it. I'm feeling myself with this little light from Ikea, you know. Who needs a ring light? Like, look at this shit. Yes. Not gonna lie, I'm trying to be a little bit more organised. I've got a few bullet points written down that I want to get through. And that's why I've got my little, my little pen and paper. Right, why am I here? I'm here because I'm back and my new weekly upload date is going to be every Wednesday. I normally aim for about 8pm, depends if I can scrounge anyone's Wi-Fi if I've got my editing done on time. But it'll be between about 8 and 10pm. Uh, I might hoi a miscellaneous video on a random day of the week, if I film something, you know, a vlog maybe. But just expect from me, midweek, hump day, Wednesday, Sarah Goodhart, YouTube, here I am, weekly. You know, we all know, I lost my head a little bit, I lost my direction a little bit, deleted some videos, privated some videos. Uh, it all went to pot, um, but as I explained in my last video, much more focused, like I just feel so much more driven. I've started doing like I've never done before, like making like to-do lists and organizing and having goals and stuff, so. I'm just saying a lot better headspace to be able to give this my attention and I just think 2018 it's just gonna go right like I'm just I've just got a great feeling so I'm back I'm gonna be dedicated I mean the Lord and his disciples know YouTube now it's fucked, isn't it let's be honest you're only gonna see the people that they want you to see on the like recommended on the home page like the algorithms fucked. every time people upload that lose subscribers like it's a platform that's I don't want to say dying but you know it's turned to shit. so what better time for me to you know join and uh, put all my energy back into it but you know what I mean that's not why we're here come on we're, we make no peace no more it is what it is even the viewers are like just losing faith in YouTube as well like I mean God knows the creators did about a year ago, but a lot of the viewers are saying like, oh, I can't get my words out of it, spit it out. What are you doing? Like the viewers are saying, you know, like, bring back the old YouTube, where people just made videos because they liked making videos. And it was just, it wasn't necessarily quality content. It wasn't all in thumbnails and Ikea lighting. But it was authentic and it was just, people were just doing it for a hobby and people blew up because so, the content was so genuine and I'm just trying to make this bit of a old YouTube, hopefully. And I've really got the hang of the new YouTube anyway. So, so I got some advice um, from another YouTuber. Do you know Geordie Podcast? Like absolutely rate his videos so much like man goes off and his advice to me was you know if you want to see a lot of growth in your channel sort of like stick to a theme because obviously like that's like why the viewers are at your channel like if you've got like a theme and you're consistent and this that and the other and that is great advice and I wish I could do it but I know the way that I am, I am a scatterbrain. Like I'll dart from topic to topic. I take interest in things. Like one week I'm like fucking really interested in something then the next week it's something else. And structure just isn't very me. Like structure just isn't very Sarah Goodhart. Right, hold on, I'm gonna move this a little. Why am I like sat in, I've had the frame like this 
and like I've been like like trying to put myself in the middle why not just put myself in the middle I think it's because I've got mess in the background but what was I saying do you know what I mean scatterbrain ah my back's hurting so with that being said no I'm not the most structured person in the world and I can't really say that I am going to stick to a theme um, because it's just not how I operate I'm not organised enough so here is my proposal and here is the update for the channel this is the stuff I want to do right I want to do story times vlogs don't know if this is offensive to say but vlogging is piss easy by the way shied away from it for absolute time thinking oh it's going to take time to edit this it's going to be hard basically just like what I do on snapchat and instagram but with a bigger camera so it's a little bit more embarrassing people do look at me very funny but piss easy I'm gonna bash some more of them out makeup tutorials this is definitely the most highly requested topic that anyone has asked me to do like constant comments on me instagram me videos sarah please do makeup tutorials please do makeup tutorials so i want to do some more makeup tutorials i want to continue to talk about taboo and controversial topics just to further ensure that my monetization gets up topics that i'm passionate about topics that are close to my heart i'm talking politics i'm talking conspiracy theories i'm talking injustices me trying to put the world to rights i'm talking mental health i'm talking sex i'm talking bullying i've got a to say about that actually more do i ever i want to continue with me agony Ant series i've done the one thoroughly enjoyed it you would not believe the amount of messages i've had following that and oh my god sometimes i read these at night and my heart literally breaks into like in fact a vast number of these problems could be solved if we could all just be a bit kind to each other so can we just bear that in mind and um, but yeah i want to do agony Ant series part two and i would like to continue it it's become something that um i feel like it's important for me to do not that i'm any form of like therapist or professional but i would i've been through a few little things that you would never think looking at us and i do think that i have a lot of advice to offer people so we we'll want to do more of the agony and i want to do a cooking show with me lad now i don't like to judge on appearances but if you look at this kid he does not look like he's going to be able to cook he looks like he would either order a takeaway every night or he looks like you would find him in a really alternative vegan cafe and countryside or something do you know what i mean and when he told us he could cook i was like yeah like sure like he's definitely just trying to impress us man can cook let me tell you and i can't like i am so bad so he teaches us how to cook all the time and we genuinely have such a crease every time we cook i'm like why didn't i film this and he's like well you can film it if you want so i'm like right we're gonna start a cooking series me and me lad most importantly i just want to continue to do this channel in my own unconventional way you know in whatever setting i fancy you might catch us here in front of the bed with a messy dressing table behind us you might catch us our here where i've got some very aesthetic fairy lights you might catch us in my ma's room with the infamous lamb you might catch us out and about you know what i mean i might even go out and go to hobby craft and get myself a big curtain and set up some nice little fancy studio i just don't know depends how i feel i want it to be different like me do you know i've never wanted to fit in i've never had that desire and every time i've tried to fit in it's always just backfired and blown up in my face so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this channel my way and i'm gonna listen to all the constructive criticism that you continue to give me which i appreciate so much and we're just gonna have fun you know i am very lucky to have a platform whereby I've got an audience and since I've acquired that I've always thought I don't want to use this for the wrong reasons like like I do the odd promotional post you know if it's a company that I believe in or I would wear their clothes or I think you would like yes I will accept those posts but I don't want to be sat there shoving charcoal toothpaste down your throat left right and centre and just posting materialistic things constantly i've been lucky enough to have a voice and i feel like i've got a responsibility to use that in the right way for instance if you go and look down my twitter feed right i look like a very angry person like me tweets are quite aggressive but in the right way i will constantly stick up for the things that i believe in i'm a bit of you know justice warrior call it what you will call us a hippie call us a 
an activist, call it what you want. Yes, I've got people listening and I plan to use that in the right way. And I plan to use that to draw attention to things that people might not be aware of or, you know, I've seen a really good tweet the other day. Where's my phone? And it said like, you know, Twitter's this huge platform. There's people from all walks of life, you know, go and follow a sex worker, go and follow a charity worker, go and follow someone from the LGBT community. Just go and follow like an array of people from all different walks of life so you can try and understand every person on this earth. Do you know what I mean? We're all different. I've gone off on a massive tangent now, haven't I? But I guess just what I'm trying to say is I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I had this YouTube and I had this platform and I just posted what was popular and what I knew would get as views and did it all that disingenuous way because I personally don't relate massively to those channels and that's not why I'm here. So I'm sorry that I let my own issues get in the way last time um, and I didn't believe in myself and I kind of messed things up but I believe in myself heavily now and I think that is largely to do with the fact that someone has come into my life who believes in me too and thinks that I'm talented and pushes me to do this stuff and I just don't feel worthless like I used to so that's amazing. I'm ready for a very positive 2018 and I just want to thank everyone who's supported us so far and hopefully we can reach 20k soon. At present as I'm filming this we're on 19,500. 20k Gucci gang. <laughs> okay I'll see you later. Mwah.